ever since the release of Supersymmetry, I have wanted to remake this video. When Supersymmetry started in 2021, we had the idea to make Greg Tech even harder by adding some more chains. However, the developers I recruited were absolutely deranged. It all started with I go by lots of names, who first suggested adding more realistic recipes for computers, like an actual 15-step process for refining silicon. But all of this changed when we recruited Planet Me. You see, Planet Me is not just the average Greg Tech player. He doesn't just like chemistry. He bathes in it every day. First, I needed the main oligomerization catalase, consisting of nickel, diphenylphosphonyl acetic acid, and 15 cyclic dadium. Then Planet Me decided that it was a good idea to add chains for every element. In total, he planned over 95 pages of pure Gregic content. Then, he decided to gregify the plastics. Now polyethylene takes 5 steps. PTFE is now closer to 26. And don't even think about PBI. So naturally, I decided to ask Planet Me for help. Good morning, Planet Me. Good morning. Regan. I am making the sequel to my Greg Tech vs. Chemistry test video. I'm actually, this might be hard. Real chemistry is different than supersymmetry chemistry. Please, make it as hard as possible. I want to cry. I think I have the best test for you. Welcome to the 2023 Use Chemistry Olympiad. I can guarantee that this will kill you in unimaginable ways. You have 1 hour and 45 minutes. The use of a programmable calculator cell phone is grounds for disqualification. Good luck. So naturally, I have decided to go my own way. I would make my own test. I signed the waiver, and started the test. Let's see how bad this goes. This has quintuple the amount of question. Question 1 is easy enough. 1 point. Question 2 can be easily checked using the mod known as just enough items. We can see that limestone has more than one element, as it is a compound. Question 3 was chosen randomly. The answer is very obviously C. For question 4, I had to choose the atomic weight of krypton. For some reason, this element does not show up in JEI, so I used Google, which is basically the same thing. I had to find out the molar mass of Fe3O2. JEI does not provide this data, so as always, C. <coughs> and question 6 is easy. But what on Greg's gray earth is this? I signed up for chemistry, not for math. However, this is pretty much two free points without even opening the game. Why? Just why? Why would anyone do this? <coughs> For question 11, I choose 48%, because the S is in the middle of the formula, which indicates something close to 50%. The middle. This one has 7 bingus S on it, so it is D. Question 12 is just straight up wrong. Gregorius text laws say that 1 mole is equal to 1 bucket, 1 kiloliter of fluid. <coughs> JEI helps me here again. I literally have no idea what you're talking about here. Name the Al2O3. You are dumb. You cannot chemistry. I need to use his tips to solve the equation and obtain the result. After answering question 19 successfully, I have decided that this is boring content and I will just sped up through the next 10 minutes of footage in a time lapse. I was told to check out the second row of the periodic table. Greg Tech says that this guy here takes about a gillion steps to make, which is based. What does based mean? Alkaline. Question 24 asks me to use the American system of measurement. I am not doing that. I personally consider the test strong, so I am adding 1 killion points to my score. Regan, what in Greg's green earth are you doing? This is not real chemistry. You did not account for the fugacity of ethylene. I'm sorry, planet me. I do not give one single stealing it to what you are saying. I will use the properties of Gregorian technology to beat the test. I will not submit to studying. 
Question 30. I am checking the items with Greg Tech to see if they exist. There is no such thing as chloric acid, so the answer is very obviously B. 26 plus 2 is equal to 28. Once again. The test starts using the bullshit weapon. It is just saying something that is not in JEI. It doesn't exist. I am sick of this. Let's turn in the test and let's see what our final score is. Your final score is 18 out of 50, with an added bonus of 1 quillion points. You have gotten a score of 36. You failed. 